Assembly items allow you to enter inventory items you manufacture from other components you purchase and possibly sell separately as well. You start the assembly item process by creating a new item with the type inventory assembly. Enter a name for your assembly item. If it is a sub item, tick the sub item box and select the appropriate header item. Please note the header item must also be an assembly item and fill in the relevant details. You can leave the cost field blank and let Reckon Accounts use the total bill of materials cost that will be calculated in the table below. Or you can enter another cost that may include a markup amount and other costs not listed in the bill of materials. We'll enter a cost of $435.75. Enter a description for your assembly item and enter the sales information such as sales price, tax code and income account. Now add your components to the bill of materials table. The most common item types will be inventory items. Select the items and their quantity that will be used on this assembly. You can add multiples of the same item or fractions of an item. For example, you can enter a quantity of 0.5 where you're only using half of the normal stocking unit amount. You can also add non-inventory items, service items and other charge items to include costs associated with building the assembly. You can also use an assembly item in the build of another assembly item. Once all your components have been added to the bill of materials, you can enter a build point and the quantity on hand for any existing assemblies already built. Click OK to save your assembly item setup. We now need to build the assembly items. In the items list, take note of your item levels before you start. Click on activities and then build assemblies. Select the assembly item to build. The components of this assembly will be shown, together with the current quantity on hand and the number required for the number of assembly items you want to build. Initially, the number required is zero. Under the table, you will see a number that represents the maximum number of assembly items you can build, given your current inventory quantity on hand. Enter the quantity to build, like three, and see the quantity needed for each component updates. Enter the date, reference number and memo and then click build and close. Back on the items list you will see that the quantity on hand for your component inventory items have reduced and the quantity on hand for the assembly item has increased. You are now ready to sell your manufactured item. If you have any further questions on this process, please go to www.reckon.com forward slash support.